2005, the, they were quoting a maternal mortality of 10%. So 10% of the women in this country died as a complication of childbirth. So that, that, that's a number that's hard to even fathom. I mean, one in 10 women in America, can you imagine dying as a complication of childbirth? I mean, mo most, you know, I think it's maybe one in 20 or 30,000 in America. And most people don't even know an American who died as a complication of childbirth or even, even personally or even heard of one. In 2011, Journey Church raised more than $30,000 for a health clinic of Mali, Africa. I'm standing in front of the health clinic right now that you all helped build. Uh, in this health clinic, you need to know, and there's a clean well, you need to know that we provide a clean water because you can't have good health without clean water. Uh, so, yeah, in Africa, two things can shut you down faster than anything else. One's not having energy and one's not having water. And so to try and do any project, but even just in village life, clean water is, is absolutely central. And, uh, you know, we take it for granted in the West. Uh, but just drilled wells with, with, safe, with safe water access, um, you know, uh, absolutely crucial. As uh, you know, uh, Global Partners in Hope has funded and built nine medical clinics in uh, Mali. And um, those have been developed over the past uh, seven or eight years. And since that time, we've had enormous success with our work there. And now they're getting professional care by well-trained, nurse practitioners and physicians, so we've made no, enormous success there. And in addition, these, or, these clinics are self-sustaining. That is the, one of our greatest goals for our organization to be able to develop um, a, a strategy of self-sustenance so that when we leave, our work can continue on. So we're very, very happy uh, for the great success in Mali. Desperately poor, it's desolate, it's sub Sahara. And so we go in there and try to really meet basic needs like water, like um, medical, just basic medical needs. Having lived there, being from West Africa, I understand the reality and the struggles that people have to face with having access to clean water. And through an organization such as Global Partners in Hope, we can truly make a difference. I'm realizing um, the enormous impact even basic health care could be uh, to the community uh, was really an inspiration for us as we looked at the area to say, hey, we can make a difference. This isn't a theoretical difference. This isn't a, oh yeah, the other people, we, we go do it. We can make a difference. Yeah.